this video is a continuation of a, a video tutorials on civil engineering materials lab experiments. I am Usman Javed. I will be teaching you different uh, lab experiments of civil engineering materials. This video is about the gradation and fineness cal by uh, calculating the fineness modulus of fine and coarse aggregates. Gradation is basically the arrangement of a particle size um, in, 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 in aggregates. Uh, the gradation in gradation curve is uh, plotted between the grain sizes on x axis and percentage finer on a y axis. So, uh, in this plot for grain particle size distribution, you can see that uh, there are the portion of a, a silt at a particle size between the 0.06 to 0.002 mm and the clay beyond, clay clay is beyond 0.002 mm so in concrete uh, in this lecture is because specific to the concrete so so you will be using the sand and gravel part in which the particle size is between the 0 0.06 and uh, 2 mm um, for sand it's about the uh, less than 4.75 4 4.75 mm and above 4.75 it will be a uh, gravel or a coarse aggregate According to ASTM C33 specifications, it has uh, defined the coarse and fine aggregate based on their particle sizes. When the particle size is above the 4.75 or a number 4 sieve or it retained upon the sieve number 4, it means it's a coarse aggregate. If the particle size is lower than 4.75 or it just passes through the 4 uh, number sieve, then it means that it's, a, it's classified as uh, fine aggregate based on ASTM standard specification C33. Uh, here is basically uh, the limits of the litric substances in the fine aggregate and concrete. So the mass mass percentage of a total sample, the clay lumps and the fiable particles must not exceed the 3% three, uh, 3 of a total mass and uh, material finer, finer than uh, 75 200 micron sieve uh, the concrete uh, the, uh, if the concrete is subjected to the abrasion it must not exceed the 3 percent for all types of concrete the material finer to then the 200 sieve or a 75 micron must not exceed the 5 percent for coal and lignite where the surface appearance of a concrete is important uh, it must not exceed the 5 percent of a value and all other for all other concretes it must not one percent basically we use the coal uh, we use the fly ash uh, in the concrete so the fly ash is a product of a uh, in, in burning the fuel in the kiln so kiln contains the charcoal uh, so carbon particles so there is a limit of a carbon particles in concrete uh, it must not exceed the one percent uh, according to stm accurate the STMC 36 specifications. According to uh, this uh, standard, you have a uh, arrangement of a sieve uh, over here. First, uh, for a fine aggregate, you have a uh, four four sieve number that is of a size 4.75 millimeter at the top, and uh, then you have a eight number 16, 30, 50, and 100 sieve. Below 100, there is a pan. So all you have included uh, all all you uh, uh, all the mass finer than sieve number 100 would be treated as in the pan so the gradation there's an upper and lower limit of a person passing uh, so here also it also shows a 9.5 sieve uh, in in a specification of a fine aggregate but uh, uh, it's a modified version uh, is omitted. Uh, here is basically a very old version of a standard, so uh, it has been replaced with. Uh, it has been omitted in the recent version. So, if we talk about the coarse aggregate, the arrangement of coarse aggregate sieves, uh, you will see that uh, there is uh, sieve sieve. Of a 90 to 70, uh, 37.5 sieve size and so on for a coarse aggregate, and there is a limit of a percent passing. 
uh, on each sieve according to ESCM limit. So we must have adopted uh, this standard in order to get the well uh, good gradation of your aggregate particles. Uh, ASM also tells that for a fine aggregate, the soundness basically soundness test is also used to check the soundness of uh, fine aggregate. Is there, uh, is there any um, you know weight loss of a fine aggregate when it's exposed to freezing and thawing cycles? So, so, so for the fine aggregate, the weight loss in case of a soundness test must not exceed the 10 percent. So. Uh, when the 10% exceeds, uh, it means that the aggregates are not sound, it's a weak. Uh, it cannot uh, take the uh, freezing and thawing cycle um, to have a, a freezing and thawing cycle. Uh, it may cause the deleterious effects in concrete when the freezing and thawing occurred in it. Here is basically the specification of uh, uh, aggregates and the standards. Uh, standard procedure tells about how you can do the uh, sieving sieve analysis. Um, this is basically the sieve analysis arrangement of force aggregate. You would have a 9.5 uh, sieve and uh, total sample uh, 9.5 uh, 9.5 sieve and then 12.5 and so on up to 125. Uh, so the calculation of uh, finest modulus. Uh, here we uh, also have a formula for calculate calculate the finest modulus based on ASTM standard ASTM C136. You can calculate it by summing up the cumulative percent retained on each sieve uh, divided by 100. So this formula can get you the idea about the finest modulus. Finest modulus gives us the idea about the part, average particle size of a sieves. Of every particle size of uh, aggregates. So minimum uh, what uh, you must have to take the 500 grams of a test sample and uh, make sure that um, you uh, uh, during the saving procedure that on each sieve there must not be uh, per, uh, mass retained on each sieve more or greater than 40 percent. If the 40 percent is mass retained on sieve on each sieve then you must have to repeat the saving procedure it uh, do not depict the actual values of a test so it ASTM restricts the 40 percent of a mass retain, uh, retain on any sieve so basically these are the arrangement of a sieves larger size sieve is placed on the top and the final uh, size sieve is placed on bottom for example you have 4.75 millimeter sieve at the top and the sieve number 200 at the bottom. 4.75 sieve uh, means that uh, in one inch, uh, number four sieve means in one linear inch you must have a uh, four squares or four boxes in it. Uh, in 200 sieve means um, in one linear inch you must have a 200 boxes within the sieve uh, between the uh, between which the uh, aggregate particles would be passing. For the test, we would be conducting the actual representation of a test. Uh, you can see uh, in the sieve analysis, you do the uh, gradation. Uh, you determine the compliance. Either your aggregate comply with the desired standard, or you must have uh, uh, treat the aggregate to add some other. Uh, content uh, uh, to add some other sizes within uh, with it so that it can comply with the standard it can also help us to uh, for the quality control of a concrete so here uh, you must need a weighing balance and a pan upon which you will be weighing your sample first what you do is um, to weigh the 500 grams of fine aggregate into the uh, wing balance. Make sure that this fine aggregate must be oven dried uh, for a 24 hours. It must must not have a moisture in it. Uh, either these are the fine or coarse aggregate. So the you will place it in oven for a 24 hours so that it can dry it 
it can be in uh, open dried form you will remove the any particle uh, in the sieves in the any particles and trapped into the sieve openings so that it cannot uh, variate your results after placing the aggregates onto the top sieve you will place a lid and uh, after placing the lid uh, you will place a stack onto the um, agitator or uh, you can say sieve shaker here uh, you can see that uh, you uh, your um, percentage mass retain on each sieve must not exceed the 40% of a total volume total mass uh, if it's so then you must have a uh, representative sample for this for this purpose you will split it apart using a splitter this splitting would be according to ASTM standard C702 after splitting you will uh, you will follow this procedure you will dry the sample obviously uh, then you will tear the weight you will weigh the sample you will place the sample into the sieve you will agitate for a desired 10 to 15 minutes would be adequate based on your type of a agitator or sieve shaker you will record the uh, record the mass retained on sieve uh, after recording you will uh, you will go to the desk and uh, keep calculating so you will measure the tear weight over here so there is an arrangement of a sieves on the top there is a 4, then 8, then 16 number sieve, then 30, then 50, then 100 sieve. Um, at the bottom you have 100 and below 100 there is a pan. You will agitate it. You will uh, on a sieve shaker. Sieve shaker will uh, enable the particles uh, to reach the opening so that it can uh, have an opportunity to pass through it. If the mass retained on a sieve is less than between the two intervals it means that the material has been sieved if it exceeds the one percent then it means that uh, there uh, you, you can give the adequate saving time so that the material can be sieved after saving you will record the weight uh, retained on each sieve uh, after recording the weight you will make a table after recording the uh, weight retained on each sieve you will make the table like uh, weight retained so here, here is a uh, table for a sieve analysis uh, you have a sieve a sieve numbers on A column you have a 4, 8, 16, 30, 50 and 100 sieve below which uh, it's span so you will uh, write it the sieve opening over here sieve opening sieve op uh, opening size basically sieve opening for uh, each size is mentioned over here and then the weight retain on each sieve in grams uh, the total weight was 100, uh, 500 so the person ret retain uh, based on this uh, total value would be taken over here so you will minus the, this column with 100 100 minus this column you will get the person passing uh, I mean 100 minus 3 is 97 the person retain uh, means uh, if the if the 3 person retain over the sieve number 4 it means that 97 percent is passing so uh, same is the case with this one so you will do that like this you will accumulate the person retain uh, you have person retain 3 3 plus 8 5 uh, 8 plus 5 14 uh, 22 so uh, in this way you will get the percent retained on each sieve make sure that your cumulative percent must be 100 percent at 100 sieve in this way you, uh, you can check the calculations are, uh, are correct or not if uh, it's um, if there is a huge difference in it there are some mistakes you have uh, omitted so for the sieve analysis graph you will select the sieve opening and percent passing 
this is the person passing here is a C opening on X axis and person passing on Y axis you will plot the graph you will select hit 50 and uh, it's about 65 I think select 60 you will select the horizontal axis as a logarithmic scale so here is a percent on x axis you have a percent uh, sieve opening and y axis is a person passing so you can get the uh, sieve analysis graph over here so now this is a procedure how can you draw the sieve analysis graph you have a sieve you have a sieve number you have a sieve openings you have a sieve retain mass retain on each sieve you have a percentage retain on each sieve will minus uh, from 100 you will get the person passing you will accumulate the person retain and you will draw using the uh, keeping the sieve opening on x axis and uh, on y axis you will put the person passing so in this way you can do uh, your calculations if we talk a little, a little about the results and interpretation of our sieve analysis uh, there are several curves like poorly graded, cap graded and well graded in well graded curve there are all type of a all type of a grain size present in it with uh, with uh, um, adequate proportions so we will say that it's a well graded um, its curve would be very smooth and it possesses all the particle sizes uh, mentioned below it so if we talk about the uh, poorly graded poorly graded have some of the proportion uh, some of the particle sizes missing let's say in poorly graded over here you can see that the it's 0.15 millimeter size is missing in your uh, whole component in gap graded there might be a several particle sizes or a few particle sizes are missing let's say in this case you have a particle size around 0.2 and uh, uh, over here we have a, uh, there is a particle size missing more than one type of particle size is missing so well graded is very desirable for the concrete mix so gradation tells uh, basically about the how the particle size is distributed how much concentration of particle sizes is present it also can uh, gives an idea about the average particle size of aggregate and that uh, average particle size of aggregate um, how much aggregate particle sizes are around this uh, particle sizes so let's say fine aggregate we have a final uh, average particle size around you know 0.7 and uh, on the other hand you have aggregate size a fine aggregate particle size around 0.45 it means that 0.45 particle size is lesser it has a higher surface area it have a it might have a, a higher tendency to absorb water because of a higher surface area so this uh, this just also you know, enables you to estimate the um, quantity of a water quantity of a water or water required for a mix uh, or you can also calculate the finest modulus uh, using these calculations so the finest modulus is 2.25 which is the cumulative sum of percent retained over 100 2.25 means the average particle size uh, exists between between 1, 2 and behalf, uh, between 30 and 50 C means uh, the average particle sizes they be between 0.29 to 0.58 millimeters you can take the average of these two points and you will get the exact particle size so in this case you have a, a d50 value of 0.43 I hope that you have uh, learned a lot about uh, uh, gradation and uh, finest modulus and in case of any confusion you may ask questions in comment section and uh, thank you for watching this video